there YouTube. I'm here to do another uh, lock vlog for all of you. Um, today is my two week anniversary with my babies, my dread babies. Um, and I wanted to answer some frequently asked questions and then show you my baby dread maintenance routine. So, um, first this is what they are looking like at two weeks. The bottom ones are doing really strong, getting really tight in some places, feeling still really rope-like. And then um, the top ones are kind of feeling more like loose hair dreads. That's how a lot of them are up here, where a lot of the ends are not blunted, etc. Um, this is what they look like at the back. I don't think I've even really seen the back of my head very much. Um, most of them are doing pretty good in the back again, like, you know, the bottom layer is doing better than the top layer. Okay. So, um, yeah, overall they are doing really good. The roots are, you know, kind of loose on top, but they are not, but there are knots in there. Um, yeah, and so far not too much flat flattening, which is nice. They're still pretty round for the most part. So, let's get on to some sort of... Frequently asked questions, dreadlocks 101 stuff. Um, so, do you wash them? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Washing dreads is good. Most dread owners wash them. And yes, I personally wash them and wash them often. Um, there's lots of videos out there about how washing actually helps the locking process. Um, by keeping because clean clean hair locks better and you know it smells better so yeah um, I highly you I mean in terms of like basic basic maintenance even if you don't want to like even if you're someone who wants to go the natural slash neglect method like wash your hair <laughs> definitely even if you're using like even if you're not washing it with shampoo and you're using like the no poo method with like baking soda and stuff like still do something to keep them clean. Um, so I and I wash mine currently about every about every three days, which is how often I washed my hair before. Um, another question I got was how do I maintain my hair color, which was a good one. Um, so first of all, if you are thinking of getting dreads and you're thinking you want dreads a different color than the current color you have your hair now, dye your hair first. It's easier. Um, that being said, if you're someone who has dreads and is thinking of dyeing them a different color, then by all means, you can totally do that. Um, what's really nice about dreads is that they're already sectioned out, so they're actually really, really easy to dye. Be extra careful with bleaching. Bleaching on the one hand can't help the locking process because it dries out your hair, but it can weaken hair like a hell of a lot. And so if you bleach them too hard or too long or too often, your hair could really, really fall out. Um, that's something to be careful of. But basically, you just go through with each dread, rub the dye into the hair, wait the allotted amount of time. The problem is getting the dye out. You're going to be squishing your hair and f seeing dye for a while. It's just, it happens. It's just kind of, they're like little sponges, so keep that in mind. And then can you brush them out or do you have to cut them off? You can actually brush them out. That is totally possible. A lot of pe people do that. You just need a seriously heavy-duty conditioner and a lot of time and ibuprofen on your hands because it hurts like a bitch, like, from what I've heard. I, on the other hand, am a baby and just decided to cut mine off because I the first time I had them because I had them once before in high school for two years. And so that was kind of what I'd um, rather do was just cut was just cut mine off because my hair was so damaged by the time I got dreads that it didn't really matter I did not want to keep it if you're someone who would be really not wanting to lose your hair you can totally brush them out um yes and then should this is a kind of a controversy in like the dread world and that's like if you should use wax um the arguments against wax are that it doesn't help the locking process that it damages your dreads, that it um, hinders the locking process, that it never leaves your hair, etc., etc. Um, I, however, so I feel that wax is optional and for me, enjoyable and useful. 
Um, for me, um, what using wax does, and what I mean by wax is like dread wax. Um, this is dread, Dreadhead HQ. They also have a vegan one. There are also waxes and similar kinds of compressing products that are have more natural ingredients, like Naughty Boy, for instance. Um, however, Dreadhead wax smells like super good. Like, so good. Like food. Anyway. So, um, I... Um, basically use wax to help my dreads maintain their shape, um, to keep them separated, to compress them down, especially when they're kind of getting a little fluffy like this guy here. Uh, and it absolutely does come out of your hair. You just have to be careful with how you wash, with how you wash them. Um, making sure you wash them really thir really thoroughly. You blow you can blow dry your hair after you put the wax in and take off the excess. There are definite ways to prevent wax getting stuck in your dreads and there's tons of products out there now to make sure you can get the wax out. Um, and yeah, I personally find it really useful. It didn't hinder my locking process at all the first time and I found it was helpful because it could keep them se separated. The other thing that it's awesome for is styling your dreads. Um, and oh, and it's a moisturizer, which is always good, because that's the thing, because you don't use, you can't really use conditioner in dreads. You're, it's just kind of like, you know, conditioner is for coming out hair, not coming up hair, if you will. Um, so it acts as a conditioner, and um, it's really good for styling, because it helps them then, like, it keeps them apart, like the baby hair, like the baby hairs from dreading together, but in turn, but it can stick the dreads together in terms of, like, me wanting to do fun stuff with them. So that's really nice. Yeah. So now on to my baby dread maintenance routine. So um, you're basically the way that I'm doing my dreads. I used a dread in a day method, meaning that I used um, a method where in from zero to sixty in one day you can have a full head of something that looks like dreads, like these or locks, whatever you want to call them. Um, and so. Basically, for me, I'm doing lots of maintenance at first, and then I'll be doing less and less and less as my locks mature. Um, there are some people, there is a wide range of, like, maintenance spectrum. Like, you, you can do everything from just not brushing your hair and continuing to wash it, but just not brushing it and seeing where it goes to, you know dread perming, which is a chemical process that makes your hair like, that kind of basically ruins your hair so it'll knot up and then sectioning and blah, blah, blah. To everywhere in between, it's like twist and rip, back combing, crocheting, sectioning, rubber banding, like there's so many different amount, like different ways to maintain and different levels of maintenance that you can do. So I'm kind of toward on the higher end of the maintenance spectrum because I kind of have a specific idea of what I want the outcome to be and I want them to kind of look smoother, more rope-like, um, more, I guess, appropriate for a professional setting just because, you know, at that age range where I kind of need to work and stuff. But, yeah, so basically I wash my hair every three days. Um, and so on the night that I wash my hair, it takes me anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes to blow dry them. You want to get them completely dry um, because if you are putting product in, in your hair and your dreads don't dry, that's what can lead to things like mildew and dread rot, which no one wants. It's really gross. So spend about 40, 20 to 45 minutes blow drying my hair. And then I do what I'm going to show you next. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. So, on the night that I shower my hair, I'm mostly focusing on um, creating new knots at the roots and pulling in loose hair and like bumps and lumps along the dreads as best that I can, and then palm and then palm rolling them. So on the night that I shower, I don't use wax, partially because it seems like my hair just like no matter how much I blow dry, it will just hold a little bit of water until the next morning. So I just don't want to risk it. Um, and it just, it's, it's just really time consuming. So, um, I focus on, um, and it actually helps them lock up better if I when I wait a day to use wax. So, um, what I'm going to be using is my Powder Grip 03 stuff. My bae basically is shake out dry shampoo from Red, from Redken. Dread, Dreaded makes a substance called Lock Peppa, which is similar and actually cheaper than what these guys usually run for, which is $14, and the Dread Pe Peppa is 9 so what I'm going to do is 
shake a little bit out onto like a sticky notepad often I use my desk but I want to show you just like that oh it's white you can't see it. okay you can kind of see it so and then I'm going to choose this lovely lovely lady to work on so I can show you so basically what I do is I take some of the dry shampoo on my hand and I rub it into my root and then I engage in some clockwise rubbing for like anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds depending on how well I'm paying attention if there's something good on TV etc etc all right and now this is all fluffy and there's some knots going on in there which is good um, now I'm going to go to the ends take a little bit more and rub some in there I'm going to attempt to fix up this end again um, and blunt it up a little. These ones have just been coming undone like crazy. So, I've got that rubbed in there and it's stiff and full of knots. Okay, so now I'm just going to be taking my loose hair tool from Dreadhead HQ, which is like a crafting tool with this little flappy thing. And I'm just going to see if I can't pull some of my ends through. So I'm taking it through the dread and just pulling some hair up. Like that. See, part of it has already come up. And I might fold it. This one has just had all sorts of issues. Pull it out, pull that hair out the other side and go back. Pull it up into the center of the dread. I kind of just go through and do this fixing up process for every single one, which is why it takes a while, which is why I pick a you know, a night where you can sit around a lot to do your showers if you want to do it this way. And there we go, the end is rounder now. And so then all I do is go through from the root to the tip and palm roll. There we go. It's not a blunted tip, but it is tighter and neater than it was before. And so I go and do that with every dread. And then tomorrow I will go through and wax them all, which just involves me taking a little bit of wax. Um, a little bit more than that. Like that much, pretty much per dread or per half a dread, depending on how long they are. And then I just go through and I like rub that into each dread do the palm rolling process. A day after tomorrow, I will just go through and do another palm rolling. And then the next day I shower and I do it all again. So that is basically um, how I handle my, uh, ba my baby ma maintenance time just to help them, incur encourage them to take the shape, you know, that I want them to take and all of that. Also, you know, I go through and every day make sure my locks are separated, especially in the back. And yeah, um, that's basically everything. If you have any questions, um, please leave me comments down below. And by the way, I've just gone up to a six gauge I, from an eight. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. And yeah, please talk to me in the comments, like this video, and I hope it helped. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.